Well, how'd you feel like you did today? You know, I felt good uh, just getting out and moving around, um, competing with the guys. You know, I felt, felt good. Um, you know, it's a good start to the week. It's a very interesting event where you're doing a lot of different throws. How do you prepare for something like this? Yeah, uh, honestly, it's just a mindset and approach to come into it with. Um, have a great, great supporting staff that trains me mentally, physically, um, emotionally. So, you know, I felt really confident and prepared coming into this. So, uh, you know, it's got to keep, keep going. What's it like out there with Ryan? I see you guys dapping each other up. Yeah. Do you get the feeling like three or four years down the road? What's that like? Yeah, it's cool. You know, it's my first time meeting him. Um, and just being able to interact with him is pretty cool, you know. We'll be teammates um, in, in the near future. So, uh, you know, it, it's been fun. We hit it off right away. What's your first impression of him? Yeah, he can sling it. You know, he, 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 throws, he throws that thing really good. Um, so, you know, I really, really look forward to, you know, working with him and competing with him. What was, what was 15 on the official visit? Are we breaking some news here? Are you going to wear 15 at Georgia? What yeah. was that about? Yeah, no, I'm going to switch from 1 to 15. Um, you know, I felt 15 was my freshman year number, and you know, I kind of want to stick with it. So, uh, yeah, we'll put 1 to bed, and we'll bring 15 back. Is there a significance to 15? Uh, <laughs> it was kind of when I first started football. Um, but really, you know, I really love Pat Mahomes. Um, still a fan of, fan of football still to this day. So I, I love watching Pat and learning from him. Have you heard people compare you to him? Uh, yeah, I've heard it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, he's a terrific quarterback, probably one of the best to ever do it. So uh, to be compared to that, it's pretty cool. Dylan, you're the number one player in the country, and you have the entire world talking about you. And I mean, what's it like for a lot of these people to perform in front of a lot of people who have never seen you before? Is there pressure with that? Is there... You know, you think about it in those terms, or like, what's that like? Yeah, I think it's really just comes down to preparation. Uh, you know, I prepare for this. Um, you know, it's really nothing different than uh, you know having to work out with you know with my quarterback coach. So that's just the approach I've taken to it. Um, it's cool to see all these people out here, all the media, um, and, and meet some, put put a face to a name. So it's a pretty cool experience. Don't what meat on the bone is left for the recruiting class. I know you've probably worked months now behind the scenes. Mm -hmm trying to build the best class ever at Georgia. What work's left to do in this class, you think? Yeah, there's a couple uh, big pieces that we want to get. Um, maybe flip a guy for a receiver, uh, lock in a guy at safety. Um, so just little things here and there, you know, that we kind of got to lock up. But, you know, for the most part, you know, I'm excited about this class. Can you take us back to the moment you knew you would be a dog? Mm -hmm. Like, there's probably flickers and a lot of flickers added up, but like, can you put your finger on the one moment when you knew you had to be a dog? Yeah, so I attended the national championship game. Um, my sister went to TCU, and that was how that came about. Uh, but you know, then I watching them play, awesome. You know, them winning and all that. Um, but I tried to take all the emotion out of it. You know, anybody could say they want to go play for the national championship team. But uh, you know, then I went back up in March, um, and having the relationship I've had with them throughout this whole recruiting process. Uh, they were the first school to offer me and first school to, you know, kind of believe in me. So uh, just having, having that, uh, I would say that when I wanted to be a dog was March 19th, probably dinner time. Coach Smart came to dinner and I told him, Coach Smart, that I wanted to be a dog. Uh, I was with his son, Andrew, and I told both of them and they were excited. But, uh, yeah, that was probably the moment I knew. Who was more excited? Who was more excited, Andrew or Kirby? Uh, oh, no, Andrew for sure. And Andrew <laughs> Andrew runs the show. Uh, and, you know, Coach Kirby was pretty excited. So, yeah, it was a cool moment. What, what's this weekend mean for you? This weekend means a lot. Uh, me able to get out here, showcase my abilities in front of, in front of all these people, um, and also learn so much about these guys off the field. You know, you hear about, you know, their commitments, all their business things, but... You know, just to get just to get them know them on a personal level. Is it um, important to win to you? Yes, of course. Winning is definitely the ultimate goal. But uh, you know, I don't don't want to miss anything leading up to that. So, kind of staying focused on that. Dylan, is it is it, impossible, is it impossible to come in here as a number one? And like, everybody just wants to pick you apart and find why you're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it it comes with the territory. Um, but you know. I, it's, it's a blessing to, to, to be viewed as, you know, what people say. Um, and, you know, I really fall back to level my training and you know, all the people that poured into me. Um, and you know, I feel really good about it. As the top ranked prospect in the country, I mean, in today's world of college football, right, you're probably, some schools are throwing crazy fake numbers at you and trying to get them to go to your school. I know NIL wasn't a factor in your decision, but what's it like trying to make the best decision for you and your family at the same time with these outside forces of NIL yeah. and, and financial offers that are really tough to turn down? Yeah, uh, you know, like you said, outside forces. Um, my parents and my support staff that I trust highly, um, 
I'm blessed to have them handle that for me. Um, and it kind of keeps keeps me just focusing on football, you know, being the best brother, best version of myself. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my parents have done a tremendous job of keeping that outside noise outside and kind of letting me narrow in on what I need to do. Did you have schools come at you with some, some crazy uh, numbers that were probably Yeah, there, there was, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to mention that. Yeah, no, I get it. Dylan, speaking of Nebraska, Carter Nelson, how much you want to play with that guy? Yeah, I mean, I was on my official with him, and, you know, Brock Byers was there. And, you know, you look at him, and he looks just like Brock. I mean, obviously not the build yet, but, you know, he, he looked like Brock coming out of high school. So, I mean, to play with a guy like that, that caliber, is pretty special. Um, you know, we're just we're just building a relationship right now, uh, you know, where we trust each other and, and you know, we talk about we talk about things over. Is Flip and JJ priority number one? Uh, yeah, definitely top priority. Um, also understanding that, you know, he's been committed to Ohio State. So, you know, if, if things go that way, then you know, I respect Jeremiah. I, I you know I'm on a personal level. So um, whatever whatever he decides to do, he's going to be a great player regardless. How did y'all build such a good connection? You and, you and JJ? Yeah, uh, honestly, I remember the first time we talked, we kind of hit it off right away. Um, he's so relatable in, in how he, he operates. Um, the way he works, I respect him a lot and his family. So uh, it, it's pretty cool to get to know such a great dude like him and, uh, you know, hopefully get him as my teammate.